Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 40. This week, I'm going to be talking about a new project I've been working on for the camera axe. I'm calling it the Multi Flash Plus Board. Now, what this is, is it's basically a much more advanced version of the Multi Flash Board, which allows you to trigger multiple flashes or multiple cameras from the camera axe. So you plug it into one port of the camera axe, and then you could trigger uh, four flashes or cameras on the uh, old version and this new version is going to trigger up to six cameras and flashes. It also has a lot more intelligence in the unit so it'll have controls, it'll have an LCD screen and it'll allow you to put in extra delays for certain flashes and all sorts of things that I'll talk a little bit more about later when I'm talking about the software. But what I want to do here is I want to share what the information I have so far with the community so that they can uh, give their input and help me develop a better project and uh, come up with a better name. And what I'm going to be doing is it's actually going to be a competition and whoever can give me the most useful uh, ideas or uh, best name for the camera axe, um, whatever I judge to be the best will uh, be getting one of these uh, multi-flash plus boards or whatever we call it. Hopefully we'll come up with a better name. They'll be getting uh, one of those units when it's complete. And I will warn you that it'll be a while before it's actually complete. Uh, I haven't even finished and uh, ordered the first set of PCBs and most likely I'll have to order at least uh, two versions before it's uh, finalized. So I expect, you know, probably three or four months at least before the project is uh, finished but I'm hoping to get some early input from the community to make it a lot better. So here's the schematic I'm using for this project. Uh, right here is the main microcontroller. It's the same microcontroller that's being used in the camera axe. And this is just a basic reset circuitry and uh, timing circuitry, things like that. Then over here we have all of the different inputs and outputs for the uh, multi-flash board that we're developing here. Uh, then right here we have a, these are 3.5 millimeter jacks and we're having an input and an output here and the reason for that is because I wanted to be able to daisy chain these units together so that each unit will control six flashes or cameras. If you wanted to control more than that you could daisy chain uh, any number of these units together. And then down below that we have the uh, battery and uh, we also have a, a standard 2.1 millimeter power jack. So you can power it from an external source or you can power it from a battery. Uh, that will come and be inside the unit. Uh, these are the different regulators. We needed a 5 volt source and a 3.3 volt source. Uh, right here you see there's a 6 3.5 millimeter uh, jacks and uh, these are all sort of the same so I'm just going to zoom in on the top two. So these are the six flashes or cameras that you can control and uh, you can see that uh, the uh, tip the middle ring are both individually controlled from separate opto isolators. Um, what that'll allow you to do is that'll allow you to uh, trigger the uh, flash um, without a problem, and you could do that with one opto isolator. But having two of them will allow you to trigger the focus and the uh, shutter on a camera individually. So that could be uh, very useful. For people who want to put together a whole bunch of cameras and do uh, some kind of like matrix style effect where you freeze the motion and take pictures around that frozen motion. Uh, you'll also see that there's an LED here and I, I wanted to have a way of indicating that the uh, flash is being triggered uh, without actually having a flash plugged in. It helps a lot with uh, setup and that's something that I've really appreciated having on the, the camera axe itself. So if we go over here, this is just a programming header. This is another programming header in case there's no bootloader on the chip. 
And then right here is the LCD. Uh, this is a, just a, a simple MOSFET to control the uh, backlight of the LCD. And that's hooked up to a pin on the microcontroller that actually has pulse width modulation. So we should be able to use that to control the brightness of the backlight, which is something that uh, the camera axe doesn't have. It would have been nice if I had uh, come up with this idea back then. But for this, we should be able to control the uh, intensity of the backlight uh, pretty easily. Uh, down here, we have, uh, th this is just uh, using two MOSFETs uh, and a few resistors to do a level conversion from 5 volts to 3.3 volts. I needed to run the LCD at 3.3 volts. So these that that's what this circuit he, right here is doing. And then down here we have a bunch of buttons. Um, I have a right button, left button, down, up, menu forward, and a menu backwards button, and an activate button. I'm here on the uh, Camera Axe forums right now because I wanted to talk a little bit about the software and PTB has been working on an advanced multi-flash unit himself. Uh, Ernie and Rick have also been working on units and I've sort of combined ideas from all of their units. What I wanted to focus on here is the software that uh, PTB is, has been doing because uh, my plans for software are very similar to his. So right here is his software. Let's make that a little bigger. So um, I'm not necessarily sure I'm, I'm doing th five modes, but certainly the first three modes make a lot of sense to me. And uh, maybe we'll expand on those a little bit. Uh, the first one is just to trigger all of the flashes at the same time. So that's uh, pretty easy to understand. That's the way the current multi-flash works. The second one is to add a delay um, from each shot. And I think that I would have sort of an absolute um, delay rather than this incremental delay that he has. So for, for my unit it would be like zero... 50 milliseconds, 100 milliseconds, 150 milliseconds, and uh, this mode would just allow you to sort of program that much faster than the next mode, uh, where you have complete programmability over each of the units. And the reason I I, I want to go to a a mode where you specify absolute times is because when you're daisy chaining these together, you want to be using uh, absolute times. Um, I also think that. Uh, for this mode where you um, program the, um, where you just say you want an extra 50 milliseconds delay, uh, you probably want um, to have a little bit more knowledge about how many units are daisy chained so that if you're, you're daisy chaining things together, um, this mode is easy to set up and you don't have to go to this fully custom, custom mode also, I'm not planning to just have milliseconds. I'm planning to have uh, uh, seconds, milliseconds, and microseconds uh, for each of these. So if you want to do something uh, longer, you can do that. I'm also considering other things like being able to control the bulb duration on a camera. And uh, you'll be able to pick between a camera and a flash for each unit. So. Um, this is just sort of an overview of what's possible. I'm really interested in what kinds of ideas other people have. That's pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. And uh, like I said before, this is uh, going to be a contest. So I'm hoping everybody will give me uh, ideas on how I could make this unit better, either hardware or software. Uh, also, if you have a good name for a unit like this, uh, send it in. And... Uh, Whoever gives me the most helpful information will uh, win one of these when they're finished. And let's put a date. So let's say the last date that you can enter this contest is going to be March 31st. 
So get your ideas in by March 31st if you want to be eligible to win the free uh, multi-flash plus board or whatever better name people come up with for it. Thanks for watching.